Hi friends, my name is Nishanta. I am a seventh grade science teacher. I teach here in Southern California. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Calendarly to schedule office hours with your students. Basically, once you set this up, students are gonna be able to select virtual office hours sessions with you, depending on what times you made available to them. It'll send you an email, it'll send them an email, it'll also schedule a Google Meet session. So you can both go into that link at the time that's appropriate. It's really cool, it's automated, and once you do this, you don't have to sit in front of your computers on Fridays or whenever you have your office hours. Uh, that system will be automated and you won't double book. You won't have two students that show up at the same exact time or like three students or 10 students if you wanna work with them one-on-one. -on -one. So this is a beautiful system. I hope you guys like it. Let's jump in. And this is the live link of your calendar. So people can come in, they can select a time that works best for them, let's confirm, and they can actually schedule this event with you and it will automatically create a Google meeting. It will send a Google meeting invitation to you and it will send a Google invitation meeting to the person with the email and it will set a reminder in your calendar and it will set a reminder in that calendar. All right, everybody. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and log into Calendarly to search it up. Really, then click here and that should bring you to a website that looks like this. What you want to do here is you want to go ahead and sign up and then just type in your school email address. I've already done it, so that's why it says it's already in use. So I'm just going to log in. Once you log in, uh, you can log in with Google. Go ahead and give permission. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to set up your first calendarly event. So click on this blue plus button. What that's going to do is it's going to create uh, the type of meeting that you want. So if this is with, with a student or a with a parent, let's go ahead and select one on one. So let's create. I'm going to call this 15 to ease and coffee. Oh, okay. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and add a location. Now this is what uh, where the magic of Calendarly comes into play. If you click here, you can select Google Meet Web Conference. And then over here, you can just kind of write some, some directions. Something like this will be just fine. And then go ahead and select the event color. I just This is the color that's going to show up on your calendar. And then hit Next. And then select the duration of your meeting. So like... You can do a custom one if you want, like if you want a 10 minutes, you can do that. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and set your availability. So let's just for right now, let's go ahead and select Friday because that's our designated office hour time. Uh, you can also select these depending on when you have asynchronous and synchronous times. So for right now, I'm going to turn off all of these. So let's say uh, we are available from 8.15. to 310 and then apply to all Fridays. Now what that's going to do is it's going to open up this slot in your calendar and hit save. The next thing is uh, it's going to make uh, the people that sign up ask, ask some questions so you can ask them for their email and their name. This is very important because uh, this is going. This is the thing that's going to send them an email, reminding your, them of your meeting. You can also add new questions like, "What period are you at?" And apply. Maybe you want to ask another question about what are we talking about during the meeting. That way you can kind of get prepared for the for the question that you want to. Uh, that they might be asking so you can have some good answers or maybe you can have some documents ready for them when they come in and then just save so now the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn this on when you turn it on what that's going to do is it's going to add this to your calendar account and it's going to make this time available on your calendar so let's turn it on now let's click on view live page and this is the live link of your calendar. So people can come in, they can select a time that works best for them. Let's confirm. 
they can uh, enter their name and email and fill out these questions and they can actually schedule this event with you and it will automatically create a Google meeting. It will send a Google meeting invitation to you and it will send a Google Im invitation meeting to the person with the email and it will set a reminder in your calendar and it will set a reminder in that calendar and that way you guys can all just uh, get to your meeting. So let's say, uh, let's, let's schedule a meeting with myself. Help with grades. <laughs> I feel like that's one of the questions I get all the time during the year. I need help with my grades. Um, okay, so let's schedule an event. And that event has been scheduled. Now, with, uh, now if I go back to my email here, it will send me a event. It's going to schedule the Google Meet. It's going to um, set up a event for me right here. So if I click on this, I can just join the Meet. It's also going to set up a meeting for the person that clicked on here if they have a Gmail account. Uh, so yeah, it just kind of works out and it's pretty awesome. So the next thing you want to do is if you want someone to use your Calendarly um, page so they can book an event with you, book a, book a session with you, all you have to do is you just have to take this code, this link, and then just paste it. So you can have it on your website, on your Google Classroom, you can have it in your email signature, uh, wherever you want, you can just have this link and people can go ahead and schedule a meeting with you. All right, now that we have our Calendarly system set up, you need to share this link with your students. So the way I have mine shared is I have my class website. And if they click at the top right here, there's a way to get to office hours. And I just have this linked to my calendar. Uh, but let's say that you want to have this linked to your email signature. So whenever you send an email to a parent or a kid, they have the option to schedule a meeting with you. So let's go ahead and copy this link. Let's go to our Gmail. Click on this little gear bar and then go to see all settings. And then you want to go to general and then scroll all the way down until you get to something uh, that says signatures. Right now there's no signature. You want to create a new signature. Signature name, we'll call it uh, book me, book my time, and then create, and then you can just type, just type in whatever you want, and then highlight it, and then under here you will see this little link thing, go ahead and click on the link, and then paste the calendarly invite right there, and then hit OK, and then you want to use book my time book my time for your emails. These are the things that are going to go for your new emails and for your reply emails and then move all the way down, hit save. Let's go ahead and write an email to see if this works. So then we'll send it and we'll send it. Here we go. And as you can see, under each email, whenever you get something new, you will be able to click here and they'll be able to book a meeting with you. All right, guys, so that's how you set up your Calendarly. I also created another video that you can share with your students uh, so that way they will know how to book an appointment with you and they'll know when and how to get to that appointment when the time comes using their calendar. All right, 